In evolution, adaptive radiation is an idea of this relatively fast evolutionary divergence from a single common ancestor. They call it radiation because species radiates out from our common ancestor. A common example would be Darwin's finches. When Darwin visited the Galapagos Island, he found a variety of birds who seems to be related to each other but uniquely suited to each island they're on. In some islands, beetles may be the major source of food. So, so the bees of these finches are designed to best eat beetles. Whereas others, you may find your food in the form of nuts. So they have to have a different shaped beaks designed to crack the nuts in order to get the food inside. So as the bird came over and expanded throughout the Galapagos Island, the chain of islands created by a volcanic eruption. They all originally derived from some mainland bird, but few of them got blown over to one island, for example. Those with the best trait to survive on that island lived, and those with traits didn't allow them to survive died, and therefore passed on their traits. And finally, the population there got well designed for that island. Then, maybe they migrate to some island again, or a storm blew them. Then they had to adapt to the selective pressure on that island. And this allows you to create lots of different kinds of birds from one starting population. Adaptive radiation also commonly follows mass extinctions. After the mass extinction event wipes out a large number of organisms, the many places are left vacant, allows other animals to take their place, and explore new resources that have been being explored before. A classic example would be mammals after extinction of dinosaurs. Mammals has been around for well over 100 million years, but prior to the dinosaur extinctions, mammals were a relatively small group. After the dinosaurs died out, all of a sudden there was lots of new opportunities for animals to grow bigger and no more predations from the dinosaurs. Adaptive radiation also occurs when a new trait is evolved that allows new opportunities that didn't exist before. A very basic example is the sea to land transition that happened for vertebrate animals some 375 million years ago. All of the Earth's land was rife with ecological opportunities, but until a few basic features had evolved, like the ability to breathe and walk outside of water, life, at least for animals, was stuck in the ocean. The ability for animals to fly and plants to grow high opened the skies to life of all kind. Then there was the evolved ability for hominids to walk upright and use iPhones. Maybe not the last one yet. The world is full of opportunities. All it takes is a little bit of evolutionary innovation.